guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I miss you guys so much. I am back with another makeup tutorial. I have not done a makeup tutorial in at least a year, I feel, honestly. So today I filmed a get ready with me. I did very light rose gold eyes and then I did a magenta, really pretty lipstick and yeah, blinding highlight as well. So if you guys want to see how I achieved this look, make sure to keep on watching. Let's get right into it. All right, cool, and I'm wearing a white shirt, so let's hope that I don't stain it. So this is gonna be my new background for makeup tutorials and stuff. And hopefully some try-on hauls too. Let me know if you guys like it. The reason why I'm moving to this background is because I feel like it's more like casual and not so like professional, if that makes sense. So anyway, let's get into priming my face. I'm gonna be using this Urban Decay Rebound. So I like to actually start doing my foundation when the primer is still wet. I just feel like it helps it blend in better, if that makes sense. I'm not really sure. It's just what I do. Okay, so after I prime my face, I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in the shade 3.25. I'm not the biggest fan of this, but it's the palest foundation I have right now. And I'm going to mix it in with the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 230. And then just dampening my beauty blender with a little bit of Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. Alright you guys, so I just finished my foundation and I just did my brows really quickly just to save time. But now we're going to move on to concealer and I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium. Alright you guys, so it's time to set and bake my face. I'm going to use the RCMA No Color Powder to bake under my eyes. And then I'm also going to use the Makeup Forever Powder just to set the rest of my face. This powder is shit. This powder literally is shit. It was $45 and it can't even stay in the pan. Awesome. How am I supposed to use this? What? I didn't even break it. Like, I didn't do anything to it. It's not like I dropped it. I can see if I dropped it. Okay, so now that my face is set and I'm baking under my eyes, I'm going to move on to bronzer. And for bronzer, I'm going to be using the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. And then taking the Wet n Wild Contour Palette, I'm using this shade right here to contour. Okay, for my forehead, I need a little bit more contouring than the average person because my forehead is a 8 head. And I also contour my nose after I blend the rest of my face. This is how I do it. So for me, I like a smaller... Hello? Hi, it's Lisa. I am making a final attempt to reach you regarding your recently issued student loan pre-qualification. You... I already paid my loans. Bye. Um, okay, so as I was saying, I like my nose bridge to be very skinny, um, and my natural nose bridge is very wide, so I just contour my nose down to be a little bit more skinny. Taking a little angled brush, using the same contour, I'm just going to go down my nose. If you guys want me to show you how I like go full in depth of how I normally contour, it's cream and then powder on top. It's a lot. Um... I could definitely do that for you. And then I'm just going to take my Morphe M438 brush and just clean up the bake around my nose. But under my eyes, I'm going to keep the bake there just because I'm going to do my eyeshadow and there might be some fallout. So if you're like me and you love pinks and reds and burgundies and rose golds, all that for your eyeshadow, this is amazing. So this is the Naked Cherry palette by Urban Decay. Let me just show you. It has all... The colors you could possibly need. So taking my Morphe E23 brush in Hot Spot in the Naked Cherry palette, I'm just going to put this all over my crease. This is just a white shade. It's not going to do much. Um, this is just like as my base. Okay, so once that's on, doesn't look too different. That's just going to help it blend in the end. Um, I'm going to go ahead with Feels and then layer this on top of Hot Spot. Okay, so then taking the Morphe M441 brush, I'm going to take Devilish and start packing that in the outer corner of my crease. Okay, and then time to move on to my favorite shade in the world. This is Sultry Palette 
rose quartz we're going in take my finger let's go I'm gonna go ahead and wipe away the bake from under my eyes okay so now taking my morphe e18 brush I'm just gonna put feels on my lower lash line just to tie things in and then moving on to blush I'm gonna be taking the blush bomb by Carity. This is the Coral Kaboom palette, and I'm using the shade On Point. This is just like a really peachy coral color. So to line my eyes, I'm using the L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and add my wings really quickly. Alright you guys, this liner is done. I'm going to go ahead and move on to my second eye and I'll be right back. Alright, wings are done, but I got a little bit hungry, so I got some Oreo Thin Bites. They're so good. They're fudge dipped. Oh my gosh. If you guys have never tried these, they're so good. <sighs> Taking my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, I'm just going to apply these to my upper and lower lashes. So I'm taking these random lashes I found in my drawer. Okay, so now that my lashes are on, I'm going to go ahead and take the MAC Lip Liner in the shade Staunchly Stylish. So now that my lip liner is on, I'm going to go ahead and take my Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Boy Bye. Moving on to my highlight, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in the shade Summer and Moonstone. Taking a little bit of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, says Madeline, so cute. Spraying my brush, just applying that to my cheekbones. So now we're looking more like a little glazed donut. I'm going to add a little bit of highlight to my inner corners. <laughs> and then on the tip of my nose as well. Okay guys, and to make sure everything stays all day, I'm going to go ahead and use the Urban Decay All Nader Setting Spray and spray my face. So yeah, that is it for this video. This is my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button down below. And if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And also, if you don't have your notifications on, definitely hit that bell right next to the subscribe button so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And having all that said, I will see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Mwah.